Strange coming back here now, like this. A place I used as a crutch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone again. Funny how history repeats itself. Not tonight. Tonight was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. So remember, if you approach him, it gives him power. But, sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. Bell Killer War. I could say that's the weirdest thing I saw tonight. No, sir. I'd be very interested to know that myself. No. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints? Fibers or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. Yeah, understood.
can't tell you anything, son. I'm not in homicide. I've only been in the department for six months. I just... Do cops get killed? A lot? No, I wouldn't say it happens a lot. I've been on the force nearly 20 years, and I'm still alive. Shakes you up when it does happen, though. Maybe more, because it doesn't happen often. Not that we want it to happen more often. I want to get out in the field someday, of course. <laughs> this has just been a rough day. Listen, young man. We're all gonna have rough days. Good thing is, we're mostly gonna survive them. Baxter, you still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, you let me know. It's too complicated to get into. Let's just say that I wasn't about to let some judge decide how to spend the rest of my life. That's my choice, so I made it. Either way, you know, it doesn't matter now, does it? If it didn't, you wouldn't still be here. Maybe I can help? Nah, I appreciate it, but you know, it looks like you got your own shit to deal with. I'll figure it out on my own. Always have. Thanks, though. Do what you gotta do. I'll be fine. If only I could tell my younger self what I would become. Gotta get out of here. There's a ghost right over there in that cell. Don't you have some other place you can keep me? Shut up, man. It's bad enough we're in jail without all your crazy talk. What? You too? There's another one. T -t 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 Tell me you can't see this guy. He he's right there. Someone get this guy to the loony bin already. I 
if I ask what happened? What does it look like? I died. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see that. I meant, how did you die? Autopsies aren't this thorough when the cause of death is cut and dry. I don't know. A bunch of pills. Some were sleeping pills. It was supposed to be peaceful. I didn't know that you... wake up. What am I supposed to do now? I wish I knew, kid. I'll let you know if I figure it out myself. This is all a bad dream. It has to be. Isn't a spiderweb tattoo usually a symbol for time spent in prison? Why would this tattoo have two spiders in the web? He got his own tattoo wrong. It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. Focus on your work. And this raven, it's like chained to... Are those prison bars? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. Yes, sir. Wow. His entire arm looks like... Confession of... Of... Well... A confession of... Huh, a lot of stuff. We respect the deceased in here, son. Don't forget that. But tattoos might tell us something. the last time a badge from here died on duty? Never. Ronan's the first. Chief's gotta take Rex off this. He's not gonna be able to think straight. Are you kidding? We couldn't drag him away from this case now.
just don't remember my first day on the floor. The MPD was in this tiny building on the I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. But finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. And when we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. One officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. Also, the late night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. She spun around, it was gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Hell, I didn't either, until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old, ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me. I had docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since, or if the specter still roams the halls. I always tell them the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. murder changes, the inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him, but he's my only chance.
sickness she carried in her brain? You made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now.